Smile, though your heart is aching, smile, even though it's breaking, smile. Mwah. My mom always told me to put on a happy face. What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. And my God, I want to talk to you guys today about the Joker teaser trailer that came out a couple of days ago. Woo! Let me tell you something. First and foremost, this, this flies in the face of all of the critics out there who say fanboys are just mad at movies like The Last Jedi because they didn't do what they wanted them to do. Ryan Johnson didn't just do what everyone expected him to do and that's the reason why the fans are so upset because they're just such brats. No, because let me tell you something. I was one of those people who didn't think that we needed a Joker film. And I actually made a video, so I'm out there. I can't deny it. You guys would just rewind the tape on me. and You know what I mean? I, I put myself out there. Yes, I did. I said, what do we need a Joker origin story for? And let me tell you something. I was not feeling this. But when I went and checked out the uh, Joker teaser trailer... Oh, I saw the light. I was a converted man. It was a miracle. I came down to the river and I submerged myself into the river and I rose and I said, thank you, Lord, for what I have received here this day because that Joker teaser trailer was Fucking awesome. Let me tell you something, man. You are about to see some true toxic male masculinity, my friend. And the Joker is going to provide it for you. And it might be the illest thing to say right now. But I do feel, watching this teaser trailer, that this is the movie that men need right now. Because, I know it sounds crazy, but you watch as the Joker gets his ass kicked all over that teaser trailer. You see this dude, he's descending into madness. He's like, he's on some, don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> oh God, okay. Anyway, so yes, so you see the Joker and, um, you know, author, he's, he's battling with sanity. You can tell this man is, he's like on the edge. And whenever you want to show a man on the edge, of course you have to show him having an inappropriate relationship with his mother. And there you see, he's somehow, for some reason, bathing what appears to be his mother. Now, most of us guys out here, us right-thinking, well-adjusted guys, unless your mother is like um, elderly and, you know, needy or something like that, most of us are not bathing our mothers, you know what I'm saying? But here he is, and he's doing this. And ever since Psycho, you know, uh, what's his name, uh, Norman Bates, I think we have this connection where a twisted dude with a twisted relationship with his mother means that somebody is probably going to get fucked up, but good, you know what I mean? So here you have it happening. You see this man, he's unraveling. He seems to be trying to live his life. He's trying stand-up comedy. He's probably trying some YouTube videos and shit and just can't get it off the ground, kind of like me, I don't know. But anyway, he's doing his thing. But at every turn... You see him literally getting knocked back down. This poor dude. And once again, at the beginning of the uh, preview, I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? I'm supposed to feel sorry for the Joker? This is the dude who beat Robin with a crowbar. No way. But then watching this, and the genius of it is that song that they have playing. You know, um, uh, smile, you know, even though your heart is breaking. And of course, the whole put on a happy face. My God, it's genius, man. It's like, who knew? It's like, this goes perfectly perfectly with the demented psyche of the Joker. You know what I mean? So here you have it. And um, I will say this too. The cool thing about this is, even though I never in a million years thought that anybody could rival the brilliant performance that Heath Ledger put in as the Joker, with this, what I'm seeing, I'm seeing an actual mixing of inspiration here. I'm actually seeing a little bit of Jack Nicholson's Joker. I'm seeing a little bit of Cesar Romero's Joker. I'm seeing a little bit of Heath Ledger's Joker, Mark Hamill's Joker, even the brother on uh, Gotham. It's like all of this, we might be about to see the definitive Joker brought to screen, you know, and, and, um, and my man, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. It's like we always knew that he was a little bit off, you know what I mean? 
But what you're seeing here, man, it's like, look at his face. It's like, do you see the scene where he's like crouched over, you know, from the from be, from behind, you know what I mean? You don't know what the hell he's doing. That's some creepy Hannibal Lecter stuff, man. And then by the end, when he's finally putting on the makeup and you see him dancing like in slow motion, he's like dancing down the stairs. You just know he just got through skinning somebody alive. You just know it. This is horrible. Oh man. Joaquin Phoenix, I know he had to go to some deep, scary, demented, degenerate places to play this role. Joaquin, I'm worried about you, bro. Come back up. Come back up. You can't go down that far, man, and be okay. Not many people can do this. So I'm looking at this. I'm like, holy shit, what's this? <laughs> you know, but at the same time, there's a sense of tragedy watching this thing, you know? So it's like you kind of, and I just did a video about whether or not Batman would kill. It's like there's a good reason why um, a scarred soul such as Bruce Wayne's might just hold back from killing somebody like the Joker. Clearly, this Joker was born from a terrible, horrible Gotham City. You know, the, the uh, environment that he grew up in has, has uh, made him the way he is. You know what I mean? So to actually kill this person, even with all of the horrible things that he's doing, would almost seem like evil is winning, you know? So it's just from this little teaser, it's like I'm picking up on this dynamic, you know what I mean? And it's brilliant, and I can't wait. I'm going to be there. You best believe Big Mark is going to be in the house. But there won't be children, you know what I mean? It's like ch clearly... A lot of people might see the clown, they might see the Joker, you might be thinking about, I don't know, I don't know what you would be thinking about if you think that you can bring kids to this. But this movie, I predict, is going to have an Oscar-worthy performance. I don't know who else is involved in this thing, but just based on what I see in, in um, Joaquin Phoenix's performance, we're going to see some shit, you know what I mean? So um, I'm looking forward to it, guys. What do you think? I'm going to leave that uh, teaser trailer in the uh, description box, by the way, so you can check it out. So uh, let me know. Give me a little bit of feedback, and uh, we can discuss this. Get in the comment section. You can like, share, subscribe. I'm on Twitter, as you guys know. And um, I'm going to catch you on the next one. This is The Gospel According to Mark with a C. Rock on. And don't forget, smile Though your heart is breaking, smile.